Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to quite a large actually um, spring summer 2022 Zara haul. This is the first like big summer like spring summer haul that I've done from them. I know I got a couple of bits, I think maybe like a couple of months ago, but yeah, I really went in this time. I think the way I wanna film this is I wanna show you what I've bought and then also kind of give you my first impressions and try on a few of the pieces, show you how I'd style them and yeah, just give you my first thoughts because usually I just film a try on clip and you're not actually getting to hear what I think properly about the fit and that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna film this video a little bit differently to my other hauls. So let me know if you prefer this kind of setup. But anyway, without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. So first up, starting pretty basic. Let's just keep it simple. I loved this, just one shouldered um, basic white top. I think that a basic white top makes just the perfect base layer to so many outfits in spring, summer. So when I saw this with the one shoulder, I knew instantly that I'd get wear out of it, but it's just a little bit more interesting, isn't it, than just a plain old vest top. So pick this up in my usual size, size small, I'm actually showing you back to front. The shoulder goes that way so i picked it up in a size small and it was 17.99 so quite inexpensive really for a little basic top as i said just make the perfect base layer for so many outfits right so i've just popped this on with some white shorts but i love this i really really am enjoying this one shoulder moment just makes the whole top just feel a little bit more different i'm really annoyed i did get a little bit of makeup on it as I was getting it over my head, it's not tight at all. It was literally me just being a wally and I managed to scrape it across my forehead. So that's really annoying. But so yeah, if you do see any marks on it, that was me. It didn't come like that. But yeah, I love this. I also think this with jeans would look beautiful. I'm not wearing a bra with it currently because to tell you the truth, I don't wear bras. I don't like them. Uh, I don't like how they feel. I'll only wear a bra if it's an absolute necessity. But hopefully you can see i really don't think it's necessary to wear a bra so if you're someone like me and you bras aren't your thing then yeah this top is fine but i love it 10 out of 10 perfect great <laughs> right anyone here that usually watches my zara hauls will know how obsessed i am with their little slip satin dresses i bought one in green last year and then a couple of months ago they bought it out in orange and I bought that because I love it. So when I saw this colour, I just, my jaw literally dropped because this colour is so gorgeous for the summer. How beautiful is this pastel yellow colour? As I said, I get so much wear out of my little slip dresses. I would actually class a slip dress in my like spring summer wardrobe as being part of a capsule wardrobe because I reach for them so much. If I am asked like last minute to go for drinks, out for dinner, slip dress, blazer, heels, that's like my go-to. I feel really good in it. I feel like they're really flattering on my body. I just feel great in a little satin slip dress. So when I saw this yellow colour, I mean, I wasn't going to leave it, was I? That would just be rude. This is part of the gang. My other slip dresses were shouting this one's name. Now they can all live together as a happy family. It's great. So this was in my usual size, size small, and this was $29.99. This dress is stunning. I am obsessed with this little yellow dress. How beautiful. Sorry about the echo in here as well, but how beautiful is this? The colour... Oh my gosh, the fit. It's quite, got like a nice little low back. So it is um, like an alternate uh, dress. So you can have it as high or low as you want. I think this is quite a good, good length. You could have it a bit lower, a bit more like a sexy vibe for in the evening, but this is just beautiful. This is everything that I wanted. Also, another great thing, it's not too tight around your hips. You can actually step into it and pull it up, which, oh, brilliant doesn't have to go over your head won't mess up your makeup or your hair yeah this for summer this is a bit of me in love i don't know about you but the color green this year has me in some sort of chokehold and yeah i don't know if you're with me on this one but everything green i want it as you can tell by the green top i'm wearing now so this two piece on zara is just 
beautiful. It's in um, like a silky satin material. So you have got the shorts to match and the shorts are like little runner shorts. So they're high waisted with elasticated waist, little um, lace there to do them up. And they're kind of, as I said, like a bit more like a runner style short, which I really, really like. Really, really comfortable. And then the matching shirt on top. I just feel there's so many ways to wear this. You could tuck the shirt in and wear it as more of like um, a play suit vibe. Wear some heels and dress it up for a night out in the summer. Or you could just as well wear it with flat sandals, beach bag, maybe a nice little bralette or a little vest top underneath and dress it down and wear it super casual. I thought this was beautiful. I also did it in pink. So I, I was. it was a bit of a toss up between the pink and the green, but my heart said green, so I went for green. I got a small in both. So it did say online that this was already oversized. And looking at it like this, I do think it's the perfect amount of being oversized already. But you'll see in the try and clip what I think. But yeah, this is a size small. And the top was $32.99 and the shorts were $22.99. Right, I've just left this open for now and popped a little bralette underneath it just so you can get a good look at the shorts. These shorts are so flattering and so comfortable. I am literally obsessed with these. God, I kind of wish I got the pink as well now, but this is just such a stunning set. The shirt as well, sorry, I've got the mirror over there if I keep looking. The shirt kind of has a bit of a bit of weight to it as well. So it feels like really nice quality. I like the big oversized pocket. Just really, really nice. But yeah, this is how I would wear it just like casually in the summer. But if we do it up, let's see what it looks like done up and tucked in. Yeah, so I've kind of like half tucked that in. So it looks like quite a casual kind of play suit vibe, which again, looks really, really nice. You could probably wear that probably undo another button to be honest and wear it with some heels a nice bag love this next up again i was really really drawn to the color of this the most beautiful orange little bralette to wear under uh, under like a white shirt maybe with some nice beachy trousers for on holiday this would also look great with like this color blue denim and a white shirt I actually think as well, I actually think this would look quite cute paired under the green set as well for a bit of a colour clash. I just don't have any little bralette tops like this in any other colours other than black and white because yes granted they're a good staple to have but for you know spring summer add a bit of colour in there and this orange one is just perfect. It's in um, a kind of like knit material as well which is just beautiful. Um, size small and it was £15.99. I've just popped this on with the green set that I just showed you because I wanted to see what the colours would look like next to each other. It's actually um, a lot more supportive than I thought it would be. On the hanger it just feels like a bit of knitted material but I think this band underneath, you can it's giving me a cleavage. I don't have a cleavage so it's actually very supportive. I feel like if you were quite big chested it could almost be too much it would just fit like a regular bra um i feel like this is definitely more suited to like a holiday vibe like with these colors i'd feel a little bit like too much going about in the uk like i don't know there are different rules aren't there when you're on holiday you can wear i feel like you can wear different things i just don't know if this makes me feel a little bit too booby or not but um I keep going to cover them up but it's really really nice though i really really like it i just don't know if i will wear it as much in the uk i wanted it to be a bit more like a chill like a chilled out it's doing it's doing the most at the minute it's like come on woohoo hello i want it to just chill but what i'm going to do is i'm going to style it up with a different outfit here as well um but yeah i just wanted to pop it on with this green set to show you what it looked like. Next up, I got this oversized, like a denim overshirt. Now it's no secret, I love a denim jacket at this time of year, but when I saw this kind of like shirt, I also love a shirt. So this is like combining my two favorite things to wear at this time of year. I just think it's gorgeous. It's got like a frayed hem at the bottom so you can see like that distressed detail love the shade of blue that it's in it's in that really nice wash of blue um, and i think it looks really nice and oversized 
I honestly would just wear this super, super casually. Black leggings, white trainers, little white top, easy. Just a really good, simple throw-on thing to wear, I think. Um, Size-wise, they did this in, you know when they do like small to medium, medium to large? So they did extra small to small, um, small to medium, which is what I've got, because as I said, it did look like it would be quite oversized already, and I think this will be perfect. So this is a small to medium, and it was £32.99. Okay, this I absolutely love. I've just um, teamed it with a little black uh, seamless like cycling short set. This is also from Zara, by the way. I've got it in white as well. Really good for throwing on under like oversized shirts like this. But love, love, love this. Um, I like how it looks with like blonde hair as well. I think like denim blue and blonde. It's a nice, nice combo, isn't it? So yeah, just popped a little bag with it as well. But this is just, this is lovely. I wouldn't want this any bigger. The small to medium is absolutely perfect. Okay, pair of shoes to show you before I forget. These, I finally picked these up. These chunky very very 90s inspired mules and i wasn't sure how these were going to be i have already tried these on i wasn't sure how they were going to fit looking at them all i kept thinking was are these just gonna be really annoying and kind of like fly off my feet when i'm walking but they actually don't and also this um kind of like strap that goes across the top of your foot it's so soft on the inside and so so comfortable i was worried like maybe it might rub the top of my feet because my feet can be sensitive soles, you know, with new shoes. If anyone's going to get a blister, it's me. So I was actually really, really pleasantly surprised when I tried these on. And they were just so, so comfortable. I can see why we're all wearing them in the 90s now. So, yeah, just had to pick these up. I think these with, like, nice little dresses and blazers. Very, very on trend. Um, I didn't think I'd be investing in any kind of, like, platform shoe this year. But... Here we are, five months in, and I've done it. <laughs> okay, my first pair of trousers to show you. And how beautiful are they in this bubblegum pink colour? I'm pretty sure there wasn't like a matching blazer in a very similar colour that you could have bought, but I wasn't really after a pink blazer, but pink pair of trousers I thought are just so so cute yeah for spring summer while all the colours are really in it's just a bit of a different take on you know if you want to go out and instead of wearing a nice jeans and a top you can wear your nice pink trousers and a top so these are a size small and these were 32.99 I don't want to distract from the trousers so I've just left like a plain black crop top on to show you these but these are so lovely. I really like the length of these. I'm five foot eight and sometimes with trousers they can come up way too small and like brush my ankles and I hate that. Whereas these are just the perfect length. Love the bubblegum pink colour. I'd say they are um, a little bit generous around the waist. Not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying if you wanted them to fit absolutely perfectly, you could go and get them tailored but i would say i'm a pretty standard size eight um, and usually a classic just size small in any trousers from zara um, but yeah as you can see they're not falling down but i've got room which to me i don't mind at all um, but yeah if you are someone that would prefer them cinched right in then you could go and get them altered but this is lovely for me. I could eat a big meal in this. It'd be really, really comfortable. As I said, not falling down. I think, yeah, I think these are a lovely pair of trousers. Okay, next, I picked up this little white satin bodysuit. This, I just think, could look so, like, dressed down if you wanted to with, like, some jeans, chuck a blazer on. But because of kind of, like, can you see the kind of bustier cups that it's got going on? It could also look like a really nice, sexy, going out for dinner, drinks outfit. You could wear this with some little shorts and heels, a matching blazer. Gorgeous. But yeah, one thing I do reach for an awful lot in my wardrobe is basic bodysuits. And I end up wearing the same bodysuits for kind of like more evening occasions as I would during the day. So they just get hammered, to be honest. I wear them all the time. So I thought, why not get one that just feels a little bit more like evening occasion wear, but I would also dress this down in the daytime. I think with a white pair of shorts, white open shirt, it would just look 
beautiful. So this is the size small and it was $25.99. So I've just popped this on with some blue denim jeans. I think usually I would maybe throw a blazer on over the top of this, but obviously I just want to show you the fit of this. I'd say this is slightly on the smaller side. It was a little bit of a struggle to do the zip up at the side. I mean, once it's on, it doesn't feel too tight. It feels very snug, feels very like supportive. There's definitely no um, like gaping or anything like that. If you are on the bigger chested side though, 100% you will have to size up. And if you're between sizes, again, I'd recommend sizing up because this is on the small side. I really had to jam that zip up to be honest. But as I said, once it's done up, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this as like a basic bodysuit, just feeling a little bit more, I don't know, like you've made a little bit more of an effort. I like the silky satin on there. But yeah, no, this is a keep for me, but just bear in mind about the sizing. Okay, I just mentioned that white bodysuit would look gorgeous with maybe a pair of shorts and a nice blazer. Well, how gorgeous would it look with these shorts? These are, I wouldn't say they're white. I think they're more of like an ecru and they've definitely got like a more of a creamy um, tone to the colour. But I love these shorts. I love shorts that are this kind of length. You can already see by like how wide the leg area is. These are going to be loose and quite floaty on your leg. Super flattering. I'm not a fan of like short shorts that are really tight. These just look a little bit more sophisticated. The kind of short that you can dress down, wear on holiday, wear to the beach, and also wear with a pair of heels and just look super. I'm really hoping these aren't going to be um, see-through because of the colour of them. Sometimes shorts like these, you've got to kind of be careful what underwear you wear with them. So I'm sure you'll see it in the try on clip, but yeah. I also think these would look beautiful. This one shouldered top. Imagine these shorts with a one shouldered top Maybe a nice brown belt, brown uh, brown bag, brown shoes. That would look really, really cute for summer. I think a lot of these items that I've picked up really will look really nice together, which is always a bonus. Okay, next up, these shorts. I apologise, I'm struggling to kind of like get my body, this part of my body, just in this frame. So I'm hoping, hoping you can see the bottoms of them. But yeah, I'll put a full length try and clip there anyway, but yeah. These are just perfect for what I love in a short. I love that they're, they've got that bagginess to them at the bottom. They feel very, very, just very sophisticated, very much like, very much like a grown up pair of shorts, if that makes sense. Love these. I really think I'm gonna try and find a brown, uh, like a brown leather belt to put around this. I think black can sometimes look a bit harsh. So I think brown would look beautiful around this. Uh, also not see-through at all. I'm actually wearing a pair of like black briefs for underwear today. You can't see them, at least from here. It doesn't look like you can see them, but pleasantly surprised. Really, really happy with these. Okay, guys, I've got another pair of shoes to show you. And it is these little black sandals. Let me hold them up like this. These are definitely a great dupe for like the Hermes sandals. I see so many people wearing, but they're just a lot more friendly to the bank balance, let's be real. So yeah, I decided to pick them up. Classic black colour. I've got um, this pair from last year, actually from a couple of years ago now, in a really nice tan brown colour. But I don't have any nice little flat sandals that are in black. I've got some like chunky ones with straps, but... I thought these would be a lot nicer for, you know, more occasions. They're a bit more dainty. They're not as in your face. And yeah, gorgeous. They're kind of rubberized as well, which means brilliant. They're not going to go slipping off when you walk in them. Great news. So yeah, these were as well uh, $22.99. Did I mention how much the other shoes were? I don't know if I did. So the chunky, like 90s style platform shoes from earlier, they were $59.99. Not cheap for what they are. However, I don't mind it because like I said, they're so comfortable and I really, really like them. I don't mind paying above odds for things like shoes if they're gonna be comfortable and I'm gonna get my wear out of them. Okay, next up, this is really hard to show you on the hanger. It doesn't do any justice because there's no way to hang this up. Bit annoying, but it literally looks like nothing. But it is this really, really cute little pink, I mean, it's almost impossible. 
it's this little pink top and as you can see by all this strip honestly i mean this just looks like absolutely nothing doesn't it let's be real but hopefully you can see at the back it laces up um, almost like a corset style top but i got this because i thought this with maybe the white shorts or the pink trousers could look really really cute i'm sure it's gonna look way better on the try on clips so i'm just gonna rush through this bit i got a size small and it was 22.99 right i've just popped this on with the pink trousers from before but this was way too difficult to get on for what it looks like it was so hard to get on and sort out all like the little ties at the back and now that it's on i don't know if you can see it's just not very nicely fitted even though it's a corset back like this you'd expect to be able to really pull it in um but it's almost like the corset bit actually does nothing it doesn't hold it all in place it's quite badly fitting around here it's a bit kind of like gapey i wouldn't feel secure wearing this um anywhere but the house and it's really annoying because from afar like this if you can't really see the fit of it it's a really pretty little top i think i, I would get a lot of wear out of it but just for like the ill i don't know you, you might not be able to come across on camera but it's very like gapey and it's just not the best fitting top and for all that effort to get on it's just not what I would have wanted. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be keeping this. I told you the color green had me in a chokehold and I weren't joking. I also got another top very similar to the last one, but look, you can actually hang this one up, which is great. Um, it's not got like a corset style back. It's just satin all the way around. Um, again, it's got the kind of like bustier little, almost like cups for the boobies. And yeah, again, just this color I'm loving. I think, imagine this with a pair of black shorts, black oversized leather blazer, green heels. What a vibe. Green and black is just a combination that I love so, so much. But just as easily, you could wear this on its own with a floaty pair of wide leg um, trousers on holiday to the beach. Just very, very versatile. Really love it. So this is a size small and it was 19 99 Okay, I love the colour of this. Um, I wouldn't wear it just on its own like this, me personally. It doesn't look bad. Um, I just, I personally would prefer a big oversized blazer thrown on the top of this. Um, one thing I would say is this, uh, like the cups part here, it is underwired. So if you are quite big chested or not even big chested, to be honest, if you haven't got tiny little boobies, they're gonna kind of fall underneath here and probably bulge like underneath and it's not gonna look as flattering. Um, so it's just something to bear in mind because it has got an underwire. I think I can just about get away with this. I'll probably be watching this clip back and be like, that top looks horrendous. But from what I can see in the mirror and how it feels, it feels okay. Um, it does have like a fairly low back. It has a zip up the side to help like loosen it to get it on and off. Um, but yeah, I, me personally, I'd rather wear a blazer over the top. But no, I do really like this. Um, I like how it looks with the black shorts. I think this would look just as nice with white shorts and a white blazer as well. So I mentioned just now, imagine that top with black shorts, pair of heels. I've been on the hunt for another pair of really, really nice green heels. And Zara came through. These are just perfect. Firstly, I love the colour of this green so so nice i love the size of the heel it's not too big it's not going to be uncomfortable i'm not going to be like six foot five wearing these and i just love the simpleness of them love like the little sling back heel they just look very very classic and a pair of shoes you can have in your wardrobe and they'll always kind of look on trend so yeah really really pleased that i had these in stock and these were 49.99 this was just a set that I I just loved it as soon as I saw it. So it's the colour of it, it's kind of like this orange and like baby blue colour. So it is a top, which let me show you this way, this will be a bit easier. So it's supposed to almost look like um, an alternate top in this kind of like crinkly material and then elasticated, high waisted, um, like crinkly trousers. 
I love sets this time of year. I love anything that just requires very little thought for what, and it just looks good. It looks like you've tried. Just thought this was really, really nice for throwing on in summer, wearing it in the garden, going to a barbecue. You could go out for drinks in the summer wearing this, like sitting outside, glass of wine. You know the vibe. It's just, I really, really love it. And I love these colours together. So I got both in a size small. The trousers were $25.99 and the top was $17.99. Okay, with this set, I don't hate how the top half of it looks. I think the top is actually really, really cute. I think the bottoms are cute. The one, only thing that I don't like that much, but I don't know if it's a complete deal breaker or not. The length of the trousers just aren't quite right for me. They're just a, like that two inches too short. I just wish they were a little bit longer. Um, the trousers do have um, a little split in them. Probably too hard to show you from this angle. But yeah, I do like the like actual two piece. I think for a holiday, it would look really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna feel comfortable reaching for these trousers all the time if they're not quite long enough, especially if they're washed a few times. I'd worry that if they were to shrink up a tiny bit, that would be it. I wouldn't be able to wear them. I just wouldn't feel nice in them. Let me know what you think. Let me know if, if you think this should be a keep or a return. I'm really on the fence about this one. I was really umming and ahhing about this one. I had it sat in the basket. I nearly took it out a couple of times and I thought, no, just leave it in. Let's just see what it looks like. But it's this kind of like cream, almost, almost like a pastel yellow. I'd say it's more cream. Um, linen mini dress it's got cut out details at the side and almost this kind of ruching around the boobage which I just thought was really nice I like a very casual mini dress throw on a blazer pair of sandals it's a very simple easy outfit I wasn't sure on the color on my skin tone and with my hair I don't know I didn't know if it maybe look a bit wishy-washy with the blonde hair maybe this would be more suited to like a brunette I don't know, I, maybe I'm overthinking it, but you'll see in the try on clip what I think of it. I haven't tried this on yet, so you'll get my first impression there. But yeah, this was the only item that I was really like, oh, I don't know. But I got my usual size, size small, and it was $29.99. Okay, I don't hate this dress, actually. I don't hate the colour of it. I think the colour is actually really quite nice. I just don't know if I like the fit of it. I kind of thought it was going to be a bit, um, I don't know, not as tight around here. I thought it was going to be a bit more of like a loose, more of a casual fit. This feels, just because of the bottom of it, the bottom isn't tight at all. The bottom, there's a lot of room. It seems very chill and casual. I like the placement of the cutouts. I think they're quite flattering. Um, but I don't know. I just don't know if I'm loving this top bit. Again, I'm a bit indifferent about it. I'm not overly sure. Maybe this just isn't very me. I feel like it's not something I would usually go for. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one. Let me know what you think I should do. Okay, next up, the first and only pair of denim shorts of this haul. Quite surprising, because I do wear a lot of denim shorts. I think you'll see why I love these. I love how they just look like they've been cut at the bottom. They're very, very cool and casual. They look like they'd be quite wide leg, so they don't look like they're gonna cling to my thighs. I'd rather have some room to breathe. So these look like they're gonna be a really great fit. I think they're supposed to look like kind of like a vintage style short. I won't know until I put them on. Shorts can sometimes be funny on me. I've got a short torso and very long legs. So sometimes short shorts like this literally look like hot pants. So it's hard to, it's hard to judge before trying them on, but looking at them like this, I really like them. I got a size, uh, UK size eight, so a size 36 at Zara, and they were 25.99. Shorts on, I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were gonna be a little bit baggier around the leg than they are. Maybe this is just a reality check. Maybe the model's legs were just way skinnier than mine, but yeah, I just, the way they looked online, they look like they were going to be quite a loose fit here. Um, so yeah, they're not what I expected. However, I don't hate them. I think they're okay. Yeah, I just wish they were a little bit looser. I mean, there is a little bit of 
breathing room, but I just prefer my shorts to be baggier, to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. I think, that, as I said, they look okay, but yeah, I don't know if these are a keep for me. Okay, guys, final thing I'm going to show you, and would it really be a haul from me, from Zara, if there wasn't an oversized shirt in there? I don't think it would. But this gorgeous, like, linen sage green shirt, I love the colour of this. I think wearing this over a white two-piece, so maybe some white cycling shorts, a white crop top, this white trainers white bag it's very very spring summer i love a linen shirt anyway i reach for them all the time so in this beautiful color it was always going to happen i was always going to put this in my basket so i picked this up in a large just so it was more of like an oversized fit and so it was longer i like shirts to go and like cover my bum so it was size large and it was 29.99 so i've just popped on a little white set under this shirt just to show you the kind of like vibe that i had in mind for it i think because of the white buttons wearing white with this just automatically looks really really good yeah i love this i love the color of this i love how it looks next to white just think it really sets it off a bit like the oversized denim shirt just a great thing to throw on over sets, shorts, leggings. Very, very easy item to style up. Yeah, I really, really like this. I, I knew I would like this though, to be fair. And that is everything that I bought from Zara. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Let me know what you liked. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.